Schools for Schools is a competition created by the organization Invisible Children and the basis of the competition is to have schools in North America raise money for schools in Uganda. So the schools in Uganda have been destroyed from rebel leaders for the past 22 years so the walls have been torn down, the books have been ripped up and burnt. So their hope is by North American students getting passionate about helping other students who should have the same rights as we do here in North America to have an education. Their hope is that kids will get passionate about that and use their creativity and energy to raise money to help students in Uganda have the same rights as we do. One of our staff, Leanne, she just got really excited about it. She started watching some videos. We were figuring out, figuring out um, what to play for our Tuesday dinner and a movie night and she uh, found this series uh, about invisible children and we started watching them and it was just inspiring. When Invisible Children first came to Uganda, we asked one question more than any other. What was the greatest way to overcome the effects of war? And the answer overwhelmingly was education. Well, we saw the video that Leanne showed us um, about what's really going on there and it just broke our hearts, especially mine, because I don't know, I'm just so fortunate and um, I don't see why I can't help. It was like a 45 minute video and it's these three uh, college students and they went over to Uganda and they're just seeing all these kids sleeping in, in parking lots and holding guns and it's, it's just really sad. It just broke my heart seeing all these children and what they go through and how they, they fear every night of being abducted and tortured and I just couldn't stand that because I think that we have it so good here and they have it so horrible there and so then I just like, you know, we need to do something about this. We escaped the rebels. We were not commuters. I am a child mother. I was a child. We lost our family. We will define our past. We will define the future. fundraiser that we actually did was a legacy scholarship and so Invisible Children has this legacy scholarship fund that helps send kids to school because education there after elementary school it costs money so you actually have to pay to go to high school and so if you don't have money to pay to go to school then you can't get an education and so we did a carnival to raise money for that and with the help of the youth at Joe's Place and then also Briarcrest College we were able to raise over $500, which was enough money to send a kid for a year and a half of school. Schools for Schools is an organization that's um, helping kids who have the money to um, supply it to people who don't. And that's happening in Uganda, and what they're doing is they're rebuilding 22 years of war and um, providing people with education. Like, what I think is the meaning of life is to go out and help people. Like, the meaning of Christmas, like, it's not about receiving, it's about giving. And we need to give because we have like not, we have so much and they have nothing. The kids at Cornerstone Christian School really caught that vision and were like, we need to be a part of Schools for Schools. And then we had what was called the face-to-face -face tour. So Invisible Children actually came to Moose Jaw, which was a huge deal because they were only going to a half a dozen um, cities in Canada. When I called them, they said they weren't coming to Saskatchewan, they don't go that north. And I was like, I promise you 200 people will show up if you come. And so they came and um, we had over 350 people here. Originally our goal was $10,000. And then when Invisible Children came and saw like, what we were doing, they're like, we think you guys can do more. So we decided to double it. Reaching our goal of $20,000 by December 17th is really high and it's really steepy. But I think we can do it because like, originally our goal was $10,000 and we had people down on us thinking that we couldn't do that, but here we are and we are pretty much at $10,000 right now. So that's really encouraging to just be like, I think we, if we push that extra mile, I think we can get it. So Cornerstone Christian School set a goal of $20,000 to raise um, in hopes to win this contest because if they raise the most money, then they're able to send one student from their school as a representative to Northern Uganda to see the effects of where, where their money is going, meet the students that it's impacting, and then come back and uh, share their experience with the, their school and with Moose Jaw. Um, the very first thing we did wasn't really an event, it was just putting um, spare change jars around businesses in Moose Jaw, so we did that, and then just like getting the word out, telling people what we were doing was the main part of it. One of the major ones that we had this week was Roast Beef Supper, and it was here on a silent auction and that brought in about over 230 people and sat an auction and so we got about $5,000. I'm in charge of kind of the crafts department 
And so that's an entirely kind of different thing. So uh, what we do is we got together after school and we just did a bunch of crafts. You know, we took all of our artistic talents and we turned it into something that can be sold and um, all proceeds go to Invisible Children. These kids are so creative. Like they take the simplest things like duct tape and make them into barrettes and they make them into bookmarks. Um, and they took, they have these earrings that are, actually my necklace is made out of what they were making. So they take magazine, um, paper and they roll them and they turn them into these beads here and then they turn them into necklaces and bracelets and earrings and they're amazing. Once we got the word out that what we were trying to do it was it's been very well publicly received I think that they understand that this is something that has to get changed and they're willing to help us which is obviously what makes everything work out. Uh, tonight we are we have a, a concert at Joe's place manifest and we're really hoping that we're gonna, we're gonna get a lot of money from that. We had someone sponsor him to come, so all ticket proceeds go to Invisible Children, and um, that's gonna be a big one for us. We could raise thousands of dollars tonight because of this show, and that's exciting, and the kids are so excited. And just to have their partnership into it and giving them ownership in it, um, that empowers them and makes them feel like a million bucks because they know that they're doing something bigger than themselves. that's going on is all the youth. It's completely the youth, no adults. We're almost like not letting them help us. These kids are between the ages of grade seven to 10 and they um, really have just blown me away by how much leadership they possess and how much initiative they take um, and that they're really leading by example. And I've just been so encouraged to see how young they are and how, how responsible they really are. I think at first, a lot of people didn't believe in us because, you know, we're just youth. But I definitely think we've proved, our, proved ourselves because we're doing so much more than some people thought we could do. People have been responding differently. Um, the youth, definitely better than the adults. They've definitely been given way more. Like, under the age of 25, the major donations have been given. And, like, adults, like, 20 bucks. Others, it's like um, $2,000 check we got. Uh, it's so exciting to see these young people who could just be worried about what they're going to do on the weekend, what they're going to wear, how popular they are. The fact that they were starting to think outside of themselves and, and think globally and realize uh, that there's a world out there that needs our help that is so encouraging and exciting. And if they're doing that as youth, they're going to become that type of adult. And that type of adult uh, will change this world. But I'm so proud to see all of you right now because you are the next leaders. You are the next member of parliament. You are the next doctors. You are the next teachers. And I am so proud of you. When you do something for someone that actually has meaning to them, it just feels like your purpose has been fulfilled. Because even giving a dollar in one of the Change for Change jars we have for around town, that really makes a difference in the lives of the children in Uganda. Um, I think that there's such a lack of love in this world and I think by doing something like this you're putting love where it needs to be. The world should already be based around love but it seems like we've drifted so far from that and I just I love being able to put love back where it was supposed to be in the first place. Be aware of what's going on because I think that people can get caught up in their little bubbles. I get caught up in my bubble all the time that I'm a North American, I go to high school and I don't really know that much else about international affairs and the reality is that crazy stuff is happening every day that we can actually be a part of and that we can stop. Like they literally have nothing. Have you seen some of these videos? They're like, like there's like hundreds of them just sitting in like these like one like tiny like crammed room like this big and they just sleep alone and then they're scared that people will come in the night and kill them like I just don't, sometimes I, I wonder how people cannot be touched by that and I just find it like if you ever want to see it it's just go to invisiblechildren.com they have a bunch of videos I promise that if you watch it your heart will be moved
um, I definitely have learned that only in giving do we truly receive. And I read that as a quote in a book and I definitely agreed because I have felt so much joy in you know, using my artistic talents, knowing that the proceeds go towards these invisible children. And um, I just feel like I'm able to give them a voice and an identity. And I'd like to thank everyone who's been donating. And uh, yeah, I just hope that this reaches people and twists people, people's heart to doing something. Peace on earth to all men. The stars they shine from heaven. It's what you want. It's what you want. It's what we need. Everything.